Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with a Basilisk Slayer guide for Old School RuneScape in my endless adventure to make as many PVM guides as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like and any guides you'd like to see from me, let me know in a comment down below. And plenty of links you can check me out at down below if you want to support me. But beyond that, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, should you kill Basilisk? In my opinion, you should. At a low to med Slayer level, they are good XP, and they're also decent casual profits that you can get from the task. They're not going to be anything impressive in both regards, but they will be good for what is med level slaying. The requirements to be able to kill Basilisk are 40 Slayer and also a mirror shield. You will need a mirror shield or else you'll get absolutely torn to bits and your stats will diminish. So you don't want that to happen. So a mirror shield is a requirement. Beside that, the Basilisk are weak to essentially everything combat wise. In this guide, I'll be talking about melee and range mostly since those are the two methods that are best for slaying generally speaking and particularly here as well basilisk attack with a melee slash style and their max hit is a five so nothing too terrible in terms of what you could expect from basilisk they have a one in two thousand chance of dropping a basilisk head which you can mount on your poh if you'd like a one in 323 drop of a brimstone key if you are on a konar task and the average loot per kill you should expect to pick up is about 500 gp per kill they do drop a little bit higher close to 800 but you won't be picking all that up so for the melee options here, I'd imagine most people will be using one of these three setups or a combination of all of them. On the left hand side, kind of the lowest setup with just a rune baseline setup. The middle setup's kind of a level 50, 60, 70 type player in their combats. And then on the far right hand side, that one's probably closer to 70s and 80s and maybe even 90s in your combats, depending on where you're at. Should cover most of the player base, not trying to cover the high end players in this game because they're probably not killing Basilisk. So for the range options, this is going to be aimed towards lower to med level slayers since I'd imagine those are going to be the ones using range more since they don't want to take as much damage or maybe their range is just slacking but these are a couple options you could use either a dart option or a rune crossbow you could switch the darts for uh, throwing knives as well but those are more expensive so up to you depending on how you want to go about that Finally, for how to get there in the inventory setup, we'll be going to the Relica Cave. And the inventory setup is, as you can see on the right-hand side, essentially what you want to bring. Some high elk runes would be nice. You don't necessarily need them with the rune pouch. I have a Slayer Ring for getting there, along with some house tabs for teleporting away. I also have an herb sack to store some of that extra loot. Some super combat boosting potions. You could just bring a full super combat instead of the three different potions if you'd like, but that's up to you. A little bit more expensive. And then for food, I bring pineapple pizzas, a good cheap option for food. And then finally, if you want to bring a couple other alternatives, a gem bag and a bone crusher could be added as well if you desired. For the ways to get there, the best is going to be the Slayer Ring. You'll need the Slayer Unlock to be able to do this through the reward shop along with 75 crafting, so a little bit required there. The second best option would be the Fairy Ring Code AJR. Fairy Tale Part 2 partially completed would be required to do that. The third option would be the Relic of House Teleport. You could either have a Scroll of Redirection on a House Teleport or you could just have your house located here and then teleport that way. And then finally, the last option that everyone can use to get here, the Camelot Teleport. You can either use this with 45 magic or you can purchase the teleport through the Grand Exchange. So that's most of the baseline information in regards to Basilisk. Once you've made your way on over to the Relic of Slayer Cave, just enter through there and then you'll find yourself in the first room. There's a little strange floor that you could use here if you have 81 agility. Um, most people probably aren't going to have that, especially early to med in their account. Not very likely. You could bring a Summer Pie to get a plus five boost and then you would only need 76 to be able to navigate that shortcut if you would like. But most people aren't going to be able to. So if you're like me, just run around the outside, you'll run by some cockatrices, and then there will be some pyre fiends up here, and past the pyre fiends, we will find some basilisk, and that's the task that we're obviously looking for, right over here in this little cubby. Once you're here, this is honestly a really easy task. Just go ahead and boost up and get off to killing. There's not too much that you're gonna have to worry about. They will not auto-retaliate, so it isn't great in that regard that you're gonna have to go around and attack each one individually. But honestly, early in med, Slayer, you don't have a lot of options in terms of what you want as a task. It's more just, is it an okay task? Can I make a little bit of money? Can I get some decent XP? And all those answers are yes here. So personally, I think it's a great task, but there are a couple downsides, of course, the non-aggro being one of them. They also don't have a ton of loot, but honestly, you're not gonna get a ton of loot when you're 40 Slayer, so it kinda makes sense. There is the option to kill the Basilisk Knights, which this guide is not about, but I do have a guide on that if you'd like to check them out down below. Basically, for that, you need to have completed Fremenic Exiles and have some higher level 
quest done. With that, though, you could get a Basilisk Jaw there, and that would kind of suffice your higher level PVMing desires. But here, it's a pretty good time. I can't complain. Always remember, just come here with a mirror shield. Other than that, you'll be fine. If you take it off, essentially what you're looking at is just constant 12s and your stats just going to zero. So not something you want to be a part of. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you'd like to tell me, let me know in a comment down below. And on top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.